Under the guiding influence of my mother, I am a feminist and have been since I can remember. My parents have always had a unique relationship in that my father has taken over a great deal of the cooking responsibilities and my mother has assumed the yard work duties. There has never been any question of whether it was a man's job or a woman's job. It has always been a simple matter of who can get the job done at the most convenient time. Since I have been brought up this way, it is not hard for me to grasp the idea of split responsibilities in today's marriages. I believe when I find a person with whom I wish to spend my entire life with, the woman's place male breadwinner syndrome will be as remote as the idea of women not having the right to vote. I believe that any relationships men and women have can be on a 50-50 basis. However, applying these, these beliefs to my life at the age of 15 is not easy. Daily I am faced with the usual rebuttal from chauvinists who respond with such intelligent comments as, well, do you want to go fight in the war? I am constantly coping with the desire to fall for the masculine football player, while at the same time I am lecturing my female contemporaries on the uselessness of joining the school drill team. I have strong convictions about women's liberation, yet I have put myself up to be the fragile, inferior, utterly feminine type. Of course, there are many unfair connotations of masculinity, but hopefully these will change as those of femininity are changing. It is my hope that women can help make these changes. I believe that I am being raised in a crucial time for all people, particularly women. Day by day, more people are beginning to realize the full capabilities and potentials of women and are allowing us to show these capabilities. I think this is definitely to my advantage since it is up to my generation to uphold the things our mothers have worked for and to carry out the services we so need to be a part of. It is difficult to be a feminist at my age because it is at this point in our lives when we are discovering the real identity of the person we will be. When you are 15 years old, being a feminist does not necessarily please the opposite sex, but usually they are just as eager to see women join with men in making this a better place in which to bring up our children. I am continually made aware of the benefits of this country and of the hopes and aspirations we have for it, and I believe that women can and should be a part in the realization of these dreams. There is no doubt in my mind that men are catching on to what women are trying to say, and perhaps the earlier age we begin to say it, the more success we will have.